Join us as we arrive in Southampton, check into our hotel for the next two nights and have a wander around Southampton. You will also see my growing obsession with the comings and goings of the cruise ships, blamed on having such an awesome view from our hotel room. The purpose of our visit to Southampton is to board the Royal Caribbean Anthem of the Seas cruise ship on Sunday, which will take us to Norway and the spectacular Norwegian fjords. Well, how much closer could we get? We turn right here to get into the hotel car park. And through the arch straight ahead is the city cruise terminal and its car park. That will just be perfect for Sunday morning. We will go into the details of our hotel a bit more in the next video. But I will say, I love this category of room so much that we have booked it again for our Canaries cruise next year. I was pleasantly surprised to discover all of the beautiful historic walls and buildings around the port area of Southampton. Unfortunately, the Tudor Garden was not accessible during our visit, but we did bump into a young American man who informed us of a wall that related to the D-Day landings that we might want to film. I'm so happy he did, as we may have easily missed it. Historic meets the new as our walk finds us at the West Key Shopping Mall. It even has a cruise view from the elevator. Throughout the coastline of Southampton, you will find boats, ships and yachts of all shapes and sizes. Plus there was preparation going on for the International Boat Show. Then of course there are the many cruise ships that we saw in our 48 hours in Southampton. Many we saw coming, going and turning from our fabulous hotel room. 
plus a cargo ship that sneaked in. of all has arrived to take us to the Norwegian fjords, Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas. Coming next time, our lovely hotel room and some more of his addictive views. Thank you for watching!